Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do your daily reading. Thank you for being here with me. Uh, thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and get into this Aquarius. Thank you God for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. Ooh, Aquarius, you got three cards that just blew onto the floor. Um, let's talk about it. Um, so we have uh, your hard work is paying off. New moon in Capricorn. Very nice. So um, I think we will have a new moon in Capricorn coming up pretty soon. Your hard work is paying off. It looks like you'll be able to afford something that you have been uh, saving for. You've been uh, wanting to have. Um, life will get a little bit sweeter. You have more money um, to make some big move make a large purchase you've got money stored up adjustments are required third quarter moon so um you might need to adjust a bit maybe your expectations it says your dreams need a practical plan full moon and taurus so aquarius this might be a time where you may be very whimsical you know fanatical be in some type of fantasy about your dreams, but you need to be practical about how you want to bring this uh, together. I just heard like business plan or a plan or just a plan of your life. You know, what does it look like? What are you going to do? How are you going to uh, incorporate all of these different things into your life? And for a lot of you, this is a time of for healing the balsamic moon. OK, it's a time for you to just heal. Take it slow. All right. I process your emotions. What does it feel like? Why are you feeling that way? Uh, where is this coming from? It's really time for you to slow down and process. And for some of you, your hard work is paying off. Uh, adjustments need to be made and you just need to be more practical in your approach to your dreams. Aquarius, come out of fantasy land, come out of the clouds and make sure that you're being as practical as possible. Sit with an expert. To, or get, to gain some expertise about what it is you need to be doing, how you need to do it, uh, what's going on with you. Uh, some of you are going to have to move. Are you going to have to um, maybe adjust your uh, expectations too in terms of a plan, in terms of something coming to fruition? Um, some of you were expecting one thing, but it'll be another. But it's still good is what I'm kind of feeling. All right, let's see what this, what's going on for my Aquarius. This one to come out, spiritual growth. Very nice. So you've been put in some situation where that is allowing you to have spiritual growth. You can't grow spiritually if, um, you know, everything is hunky-dory. Everything is going great. There's no growth there. It's just good, you know. Everything is great. But one thing, when, there, when you are met with adversity, when you are met with problems, when you are met with discord, dissension, you don't know what's going on. You don't know what to Tomorrow will bring it's a time for you to tap in spiritually and understand the other component of life it's not all just physical um, you have to kind of tap into that spiritual side of yourself um, you'll get to that place where the physical can't answer what's going on for you in your life therefore you seek out spiritual reasoning the science of a thing and um, so this is opportunity for spiritual growth for some of you some of you could have met someone been a part of some situation that uh, is asking you you to grow spiritually, not for you to make someone else grow or you grow together. Spiritual growth for yourself, um, coming out of that comfortable place. You've got mature woman popping out. So some of you could be older, uh, mature, okay? Uh, set in your heart, set in your ways, uh, set in your ways. You also could have, um, you know, you've created your, you've created your life. You've been in your career for a number of years. You're good. Everything works well for you. Um, but you could be dealing with these two ones to pop out: the Ice King, and then the brunette female. So you could be another, the other woman, or there is another woman involved in a relationship that you're having with the Ice King. This is somebody who has a lot of life experience, could be a professor or in some type of teaching type of career uh, philosophy, if you will. They think about, you know, the grand scheme of things, the bigger picture. 
they don't have time for love and slowing down. Uh, they tend to make everything logical and rational. This person could have been courting you. The courting man is coming out, okay? Um, yeah, this person could have been courting you, Aquarius. Let's see. So they were trying to date you. I don't know if it was exclusive. This could have been like a high level soulmate where you, you, um, they came into your life to teach you something. Again, that spiritual growth. Um, for some of you, teach you not to allow people to walk all over you. Okay. And you need to listen to what people say. Okay. Uh, and go off of what you know is true and not what you hope is true. Also, there's someone around you who talks too much, not enough action. They say this, say that, but their actions are not met with their words or they're not, um, their actions don't back their words. They do one thing and then, uh, say one thing, do another. Do you also, they, they also could have seen you as naive, open, loving, um, easy to take advantage of, maybe even control here. Um, and that's why they may do the other woman, the second woman, if that's your story, or that's why they went and got another woman. There's a lot of gossip surrounding you and this relationship, especially if, if there's you guys are in a capacity where there's a lot of people that know you and your person. Um, there's a lot of gossip about the relationship, a lot of gossip about the relationship and what's going on between you and your, your individual, whomever you're coming to the reading for. Let me see. Uh, I want to be single. This could be you, Aquarius. This could be another person. Somebody is wanting to be single. Uh, they say one thing, they do another. You know, they may act like you're in a relationship. They say, please work with me. So if you get somebody who knows that their situation or what they're offering you is kind of jacked up, it's messed up, it's not right. Um, it may be unfair, maybe unbalanced, but they're saying, please work with me. You might be dealing with someone who wants to be single, but also wants you in their life. They don't know how to balance out the two. How to keep you in their life while wow, soulmates, twin flames coming out again. You had soulmate come out in the other deck here. Um, so definitely you guys are dealing with a soul, soulmate, twin flame, whatever you subscribe to. But that doesn't mean that you need to stay with this person, especially if they're treating you unfair, unjust. They don't have, they're not trying to make any plans or do anything that is different. You know, if they're not trying to uh, change, if they're not come, trying to come to you with a plan, all they're saying is work with me. Please work with me. I'm um, someone I dream about you. Okay, so this is an energy where you're not, you're separated from someone. They're saying that they dream about you. Okay. Uh, they want you to work with them. They feel like your standards are really high, Aquarius. They don't know if they could ever live up to the person that you deserve or you feel like you need. Uh, they don't know how they can even approach you. They want to come back towards you. Wow. Okay, watch this, guys. All right, so Addicted just came out, and then I have my AirPods in, and the song that is on is, I don't know if you can see it. Will it, it will not. Um, anyway, the song that is on is Addicted. <laughs> so uh, somebody is definitely addicted. Addicted by tweet. That's crazy. Somebody is absolutely addicted to you and they're they're saying i'm leaving so this person may have someone else they may be saying or they will, are they leaving the single life for you uh this person is absolutely addicted to you they have not met love found love like this before in any other person i think you, because you came genuine and open you you were transparent a lot of times you know uh, aquarius is amazed by someone being you know, addicted to them or stuck on them because they didn't do anything out of the box, out of the, you know, extreme to keep the person. They just showed up as themselves. But you got to keep in mind, a lot of times people engage in relationships, engage in friendships, engage with each other, disingenuous, dishonest, showing something else and someone else. So when Aquarius, people meet you and, they, and you're, I'm only talking to high level evolved Aquarius, but when they meet you, and you are um, genuine, you're open, you're caring, you're transparent. It's, it's a shock to people's soul. And they do become addicted to you, addicted to your energy because they know that it is, it is um, homegrown, it is soulmate love, it is uh, genuine. 
and you're, you're being met with so much disingenuous uh, energy, it makes a, a person who knows that they they have been dishonest to you and unfair. It makes them addicted to you because then they know that they're not going to get this anywhere else. It is uh, one of a kind. It is um, exclusive. It is um, needle in the haystack type of energy. It's how they feel about you. Uh, your person could have been dealing with a gold digger, okay? Uh, or gold diggers in the past. Um, someone is saying, I don't have time. This might be you, Aquarius. You just don't have time to play around anymore, okay? Uh, let's see what else is going on here. What else is going on for my Aquarius? Um, someone's saying, you're just right for me. And then you have another energy of, I can't choose. So somebody, there's definitely two people here or choice of maybe the single life and the couple life or married life or it's a choice of two people and someone is saying i just can't choose okay so they want their cake and they want to eat it too uh but they feel like you're just right for them all right and maybe that's why they're addicted to you um someone just doesn't know how they feel about you because they're saying i would say i love you but i don't know what love is and this is back to the whole spiel i gave about people meeting you Aquarius and being becoming addicted to you because you come up as genuine, evolved, transparent, open, loving. Uh, you don't get that all the time. And they, this, this is, this person doesn't even know what love is because they've been met with such energy of, you know, gold digger and, um, the brunette female, you know, people hiding things, you know? So when they met you Aquarius, it was different. All right. So let's see what else is going on here. Um, What's holding this person back from the Aquarius? Um, okay, so this person, they love the how you dress. They think you're a fashionista or if you're a guy, but you're, uh, your person feels like you, you dress very well. You put things together very well. You're unique. Uh, they love the way you dress. What's holding this person back? Um, yeah, another person is holding this person back because your person is saying we have to be more careful. Careful. Uh, he or she found the text messages. So um, we definitely have your person. Um, they already have somebody. That person is watching them closely because they know how you feel about them, Aquarius. And they know how they feel about you. March. All right. So uh, in the month of March, uh, I don't know. This is springtime, I think, believe. Um, Something may happen in March. You may come together. Something may uh, definitely evolve for you, you two. I don't know what year, but we've got March. So March is significant. Something could have happened in this past March, March 2021. Uh, that was significant. Um, I stare at your pictures for hours. I'm obsessed. Wow. This is crazy. This person is addicted. They're obsessed to you. They stare at your picture for hours. So this is definitely somebody who dreams about you, who um, they want to see you. They want to be with you. They want you to work with them. Whomever, if you're estranged from someone, they stare at your picture for hours. They're obsessed with you. Um, they feel like you are just right for them. All right. What else is going on here? But this person took advantage of you. They, they took advantage of you. And they also... Um, next week Aquarius something could be happening for you next week all of these cards fell onto the floor we'll we'll see what they're about this person took advantage of you they took you for granted okay um they felt like you would never leave uh you have not healed heal so Aquarius this could be for you this could be for the other person somebody needs to heal okay um yeah this person says I feel safe with you okay so I want to say it just costs too much. So someone feels like maybe it's going to cost them too much time, energy, money to make a, a change, to leave a situation. And someone is saying, text me, don't call me because we see that they, they have that other person here. So it's like they, they don't know how to choose. They can't choose. They want to choose, but then they don't want to choose. It's easier to stay. It costs too much for them to leave. Uh, but this person loves everything about you. Okay, Aquarius. And they do mean everything. Um, Let's see what else is going on with this person. Then we'll close this out. Um, or we can, something is happening for you next week. What's happening for Aquarius next week? What's happening for the Aquarius next week? What's happening for the Aquarius next week? Let's see.
what's happening for the Aquarius? All right. <laughs> Somebody just can't get over you. They need help. You know, um, maybe they'll think about you obsessively. They could also be trying to manifest you back into their energy. Um, they just need you. Even if they can't give you what it is you deserve, Aquarius, they feel like they just need you in their energy. Energy. They need you in their life. They need you. You know, they need to know that they have access to you. Sometimes that's just good enough for, for most people, knowing that they have access to. Um, even if it's not that you are, you know, a girlfriend, boyfriend, uh, fiance, at least they want to know that they have access to you. What's happening for the Aquarius next week? One more card. What's happening for the Aquarius next week? Um, weekend getaway. All right, so you could be uh, planning a weekend getaway. You could... Um, Something could be happening fast for you. You could be leaving. You could be packing your bags. Um, yeah, you definitely could be um, getting away. Getting away from a situation really quickly and one that you were contemplating and really strategizing about getting out of. This could be like the two weeks notice at your job. You could be getting a new job or just going elsewhere. You could um, be getting good news to where you're going to have to pack up and move really quickly. You're going to have to make some plans really quickly. You could be getting good news in terms of money. It allows you to plan a weekend getaway or it, it allows you to plan uh, your getaway. Okay. Let's see. What else is going on for the Aquarius? Yeah, this one to come out. Jealous friends or a friend. You have somebody who... Whoa, that one to pop out. You have someone who is absolutely jealous of you, okay? Uh, they see all of this uh, good happening in your life. They see you keeping to yourself. All right, Aquarius, if you're dealing with somebody, you can't make this stuff up. All right, so if you are estranged from someone and they want to come back around, uh, they just want to come back around maybe for, uh, they can't get over you. They just want to have access to you. They want to come in and have this little weekend getaway with you. Be cautious because these two cards popped out and fell onto the floor. So sexless marriage and contracted an STD. So you might need to keep from having sex with this person because they may have some the gift that keeps giving, okay? And then this card also popped out. It's just a bad decision, okay? And um, your gut is gonna tell you that. You know, if this person is coming back real quick and they're trying to get frisky with you fast, they may have something, either they know that they have something or they don't know, but you have been, you haven't had sex with this person in a, in a while and to jump back into the bed with them, you would be running the risk of contracting an STD or, or um, this would just be risky is what the cards are saying. Um, you're risking something here. It's a bad decision. Okay, stop and think about it because this person could be just in and out, weekend getaway. When you go away for the weekend, you, you stay there for the weekend and then you go back home, right? So maybe this person is trying to come in, have sex with you and then just leave, okay? Um, so some of you could be dealing with some of these jealous friends there, like in the Mean Girl Club. They, it's a group of girls or a group of women or just a group of people who want to get together and talk shit about you. They have nothing of value to add to it to pretty much uh, the relationship with you, Aquarius. And, and maybe it's, it, it's vice versa, too. You don't have anything to add with, to them. And it's just uh, best that you guys stay away. Uh, last card for the Aquarius. Um, somebody feels like you're absolutely gorgeous, Aquarius. And we did see somebody staring at your pictures for hours. But there's an air of promiscuity here, okay? Um... There's somebody who doesn't contribute financially, okay? There's somebody who owes you money. There's somebody who, who may be saying, like on this card, that say, no, I don't have it. There's somebody who owes you money that wants money from you, that looks at you as a, a money pit. Maybe they owe you a whole lot of money or Aquarius. You will be receiving a whole lot of money, okay? Um, especially if you're dealing with same-sex connection, be weary of that. This person does not contribute. They will not contribute financially to the relationship. Uh, they feel like with you, they can just, you know, you have a whole lot of money, so you can just give it, give it out freely. Um, and there's somebody, yeah, they they can't maintain a relationship, okay? They're very promise, you know, pr promiscuous here. They don't do well on one-on-one -on -one connections, okay? They always have, like, several different people waiting in the wind. When you come, you know, with your heart and you feel like this person is giving you their heart, but they're, 
they got several people over here and then also cannot maintain a relationship just can't they can't maintain a relationship because um they're a liar back to what we talked about earlier they're lying to everyone just lies okay and somebody could just be destitute and in need homeless and in need okay and all you want them to do is really just apologize but they just feel like they can just keep talking and they can over talk you you forget about it and you guys will move on okay and you're also dealing with somebody who is absolutely just um hateful Keep that in mind. They're just hateful, okay? They hate everything about you, even when they act like they don't, okay? Um, and you're dealing with somebody who's closed off to love because their life sucks, okay? Just can't make it up. Um, they're closed off to love because nothing is going right in their life, so they definitely aren't trying to invest in love. Um, nothing is going right in their life because they're just not a good person, okay? Um, let's see what else. Okay, yep, this is a person is... Maybe they could be in the nightlife. They do something with party promotion. Um, there could be a club hopper. This also talks about someone who just keeps going from person to person. And we saw that in a lot of the other cards. You could have caught this person ch cheating. This person feels like they are undeserving of real love. Again, once they, they can't commit, their heart is not open. Their heart chakra may be closed. Um, some of you have a boyfriend or a girlfriend and you're going to travel with them. Um, that could be that weekend getaway also. Um, if you're traveling with a boyfriend or a girlfriend and you're taking the children, be cautious of that. It could be child abuse or neglect there. Um, again, you got healing coming up. Heal, heal. Healing is the answer for some of you. You don't need to go and meet anyone else right now. You just need to heal. And Aquarius, start that business. Start it. Put that application in. Get that thing done. Some of you are engaging in same-sex connection connections. Um, yeah, that's what I'm getting for you, Aquarius. Um, I hope that it resonates for you. If it does, go over to the website, book there. Get your own personal reading so you can pull your own energy to see where you are, where you stand with you and another person, you and your career, your business, whatever it may be going on, maybe even your friends. Um, you can ask a question by texting your question to the number below. Should I trust this friend that's come back into my life? Should I trust this guy, this girl? Uh, are they for real? Uh, do they want a real relationship with me? Questions like that you can send to the, to the number below. Pay for your question and receive the answer to your question all on your mobile device. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the Buy L a Coffee link. Thank you guys. Many blessings to you. Take care.